because uh, me and my father, well my father mostly bought a new ride, not really new, uh, but it's a nice little 4x4 that we've been uh, kind of looking for for a while now. So uh, backstory to this goes, uh, again, my father ha has been wanting uh, a vehicle so that he can take to you know, areas where he can uh, either you know, uh, go to the beach and go into the sand and not get stuck so much. So he ended up uh, we ended up actually uh, searching for a while now, and as you can see here, uh, it's going to be this 1998 Nissan Pathfinder, actually. So uh, I'm just going to kind of give you guys a quick uh, peek here, and then I'm going to do a uh, go around. Uh, I'm going to do a full go around and show you guys the interior. Uh, but we actually pretty got, got a pretty good deal on this car. Uh, for It's a 1998. It's got a little under 200,000 miles. Uh, engine runs solid. It's a V6, a 3.3 liter. It's automatic, uh, they are cast tinted windows, uh, tires still have most of its treads, uh, no major mechanical issues that we know of as of now. So again, you know, we just got this uh, vehicle a couple days ago and you know, the, the cool part about it is, you know, the AC is running in it, obviously it being Texas, uh, it's really hot. So, you know, we want to make sure all those little components work, you know, no major structural, structural damage around uh, the actual vehicle. So. Uh, again, guys, you know, I'm just going to give you a, a, a little tour uh, and a cool thing about this car is, you know, I'm going to probably uh, show you guys what we do to it as far as mods, uh, modifications, whether it be tires, uh, engine, whatever, uh, you know, over time. So you guys will be able to see this. Uh, and of course, hopefully if we can get one or two uh, off-road vehicles where this is actually going like, you know, off-road using the 4x4, even better. Uh, but again, this is a 1998 Nissan Pathfinder. Let's go ahead and do a quick walk around, okay? All right, guys, so as you can see here, uh, all the way around, this is a pretty, very nice looking vehicle, to be honest. Uh, underrated for its time, in my opinion. I feel like people, uh, you know, and excuse if there's any wind noise, by the way, guys, uh, it is windy out here today. Uh, but for the most part, you know, very nice looking vehicle. And again, uh, underrated in my opinion. I feel like people give Toyota 4Runners too much credit uh, or whatever other uh, brands. Like, I mean, for the most part, people highly praise the 4Runner though. So again, all the way around, you can see here, really no major body damage or anything like that. Uh, the paint the paint on it's pretty gone. Uh, it's pretty nasty uh, as far as the paint goes. I mean, I think this is like a silver color. As you can see here, the actual tires, the tire tread in the back is probably more worn out than in the front. It's got the little Nissan uh, sidebars here, so you know, for people that have uh, a little bit of trouble getting in, obviously. And again, tinted windows are already in Texas. It's just, it's just always going to be good for the most part. And as you can see here, the front it's a little rusted. Uh, the grill guard's a little rusted, but what we plan to do with this is uh, remove the grill guard and actually uh, just repaint it uh, and get it, you know, sanded down in the areas that need to be sanded down, and then just repaint it. But again, for the most part, no damage. If you look, look at the front bumper. There's like literally no damage. Uh, just in one little area over here, as far as the actual bumper, but it's. It's more of like the little plastic housing that goes underneath the actual metal. Uh, everything works, man. The headlights, the tail lights. Uh, you know, engine starts up real nice. I'm looking at this. Not 100% sure if this has newer shocks or not or struts. Uh, it does squeak on occasion. So that might be something we might have to look at. I think I feel like it's the rear struts uh, opposed to the actual back ones here. Let's go ahead show you guys maybe it's got some Bilstein shocks over here or something like that right uh, no lift to my knowledge but again this thing has about uh, about I want to say eight to nine inches of ground clearance maybe eight and a half inches it's not that high but it, it's not that low also you can see the tire gap to the wheel well it's pretty it's a pretty big gap so so unfortunately the one of the little minor flaws of this uh, are the back doors do not open from the outside so so if you look at this, again, the, the back door is just, uh, it's the little latch or something 
the little thing that goes on the inside. You can open it, but it's got to be from the inside. So let's go ahead and get the front door open. Let's see if we can uh, show you guys here. So side panel lane is actually pretty old school. It's pretty plain. Uh, it actually has a window crank, so no automatic windows, which doesn't really, which didn't really bother myself or my dad, uh, just because uh, you know it's you know those those things tend to fill anyways. Uh, the only major really interior issue is the front seat. It looks like the upholstery and the padding on it has come off, but for the most part, it doesn't really affect uh, when you sit down, etc., like that. Uh, when, when when we bought it, it had this ugly steering wheel cover. So I went to Ross and I actually spent about like seven bucks on a, just this you know replacement steering wheel cover, which gets the job done. It'll last him a while if he decides to replace that later. That's fine. And let's go ahead and get inside here, guys. So okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna get inside and I'm actually gonna turn this thing on just because I don't I don't want to be dying in the heat here, guys. So here's the here are the keys. For whatever reason, the actual Nissan key that this came comes with has a really hard time cranking. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and, and put this in the keyhole. Let's turn it on. So, okay, I'm gonna close the door also just so that you guys can kinda of see what's going on. So hopefully you guys can see. So here's the, speed, uh, the speedometer. Pretty plain for 1998, nothing major. It's got your fuel gauge over here. It's got your gauge clusters uh, and it's got an actual, let's see if I can zoom in here. It's got the odometer reading at 192,000. So again, under 200,000 miles, RPMs up to 8,000. Uh, this is a V6 again, by the way, guys. And from what I was uh, reading up online, this engine uh, has about 168 horsepower uh, at 130 or 3,500 RPMs and 195 pound-feet of torque. If I, uh, someone correct me on that, if you guys are Nissan. Uh, people and you guys like to watch uh, these type of videos uh, but again uh, the, whoever the guy that owned this uh, had an aftermarket uh, radio installed uh, it works but the speakers are, are blown out so uh, that's not going to be a major uh, issue right now it, the radio does work though so that's not a cd player i think it's just bluetooth whatever you can put in a memory card right there also uh, but it, this is what you know this is one of the main reasons why you know we purchased the vehicle was the 4x4 capabilities uh, and again i've seen several youtube videos online already uh, but again all the way around you know we cleaned it up already a little you know the carpet and and these floor mats were dirty as hell so the cool part about it is the floor mats were very dirty uh, or where they were ugly but plenty of room in the back i might have to go around to see if uh, the back is actually open uh, but for the most part it's you know it's, it's two row seating and you know whoever's going to sit in the back is going to have a lot of floor room carpet's a little dirty obviously but again this is a you know 20 plus year old vehicle already already it's 21 years old this 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 this, this uh, vehicle is legal now if you think about it but for the most part pretty comfortable ride you know headliner is not trashed or anything like that up here you have you know the the little indoor lights the only thing about this is the actual um this portion right here which is the what is it called i guess the 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 sun visor or whatever uh it's a little messed up they have like a piece of tape on it but other than that you know the headliner on this on this vehicle is pretty good and excuse any shakiness by the way guys uh but for the most part this is just kind of a walkthrough of i i would like to get the hood open but i feel like i'm gonna fail at uh, showing you guys but let me see if i can do that real quick while the engine's on and then we'll We'll see what's going but let me go ahead and you know before i do that let me go ahead and and lower the ac just a little bit and let me uh, put my foot on this and let me see if you guys can hear the engine pretty loud huh for a v6 uh, of its time i mean i mean it doesn't even sound like you would need to get any type of aftermarket exhaust right but yeah for the most part this is a nice little vehicle guys i mean again two two cup holders right there you got your handbrake you know again you have your four high your four lows uh, for people that are, you know, into off-roading, again, I don't know if this has like any type of rear locking differentials or anything like that. Again, this is a SUV that has 4x4 capabilities, but again, it's the Nissan Pathfinder. Uh, but again, all the way around, what I like is it has oh shit bars up here and I believe on the other side. So, so again, no, no major like ugly issues as far as the interior goes. It's pretty clean. It doesn't have any nasty smells. It just smells like a, you know, an old vehicle, but you know, just get yourself a, uh, uh, what do you call it here let's go ahead and uh, turn this around or can i turn it around probably not okay that's fine 
no, I can just zoom in. But anyways, um, uh, again, no major uh, interior or, or structural issues on the outside. No major body damage. Let's go ahead and see if I can get the engine, uh, you know, uh, engine bay open here for you guys really quick. Hey guys, so again, this will probably be the last portion of the video here. And again, this is a naturally aspirated V6. Uh, it's got an EverStart battery, obviously, right? Again, I don't know too much about engines. I'm not a mechanical uh, vehicle expert, but for the most part, it, it looks really clean. You know, we don't. Uh, this thing doesn't leak oil, from our knowledge. We still need to uh, uh, get an oil change on this, and you know, do a few things as far as changing out the spark plugs and actually uh, checking to see if uh, it needs like any type of transmission fluids and anything like that. Uh, but for the most part, it's clean. Nissan logo over here, Nissan, again, and for the most part it's really clean, maybe uh, later on get ourselves a K&N intake, again, get that added horsepower over here, um, really, really nice vehicle, uh, for the year, and again, guys, you know, as, as, as we fix it up and continue uh, this project that, uh, you know, that we want to do with this, uh, we'll go ahead and uh, make more updated videos, guys, but again, uh, this is Mike with the you signing off. If you guys like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, guys. Uh, as always, please subscribe to my channel for more updates as we, again, continue to do this. Hopefully, we can get some meaner looking tires on this. These are uh, the tires. The guy gave us the original tires with the vehicle, but we just decided uh, to stick with these ones for now because they have, again, a little more tread on the, on the actual wheels. But these ones don't look too, too bad. Uh, for what it is. I mean, I think they pulled these off like an Xterra or some other type of type of Nissan vehicle. But again, guys, uh, this is Mike from Detector Design. This is the 1998 Nissan Pathfinder. See you guys next time. Thanks for watching, okay? All right, guys, just as an added bonus, I'm actually taking this thing through a car wash right now to see if there's actually any leaks uh, on this because there actually is um, a little bit of fender or, or windshield trim missing up here. So you can see here, first time getting car washed, uh, and I took it a blue wave, so you can guys see here that the check engine light is on. But yeah, we'll see how it goes. I mean, I, I'm not going to assume that this thing is going to leak, but I just hope it doesn't <laughs> anymore. It's, it's a dirty car. Car wash ain't doing that great of a job because it's still got bird shit right there. First car wash though. <laughs> guys we'll see how the rest of this goes so uh, again thank y'all for watching the video keep an eye out for the updates on this car and we'll see you guys next time okay